Hey guys, I don't know how long I had to record this. This cat is on her way back home. Bullcrap went down, but for that's private personal stuff. So I, I don't have much time. I just really, really found out about this minutes ago. So I gotta quickly make a video on it. And since I'm doing this on phone, I can't actually use the image in my thumbnail like I did for my other Sonic video. So, oh well. They're pushing the movie back to Valentine's Day because they're redesigning Sonic. Um, something, a miracle, it's a miracle. People complained about a bad design and it actually got changed. What? What, what kind of parallel universe have I stepped into? Where people, whenever people, you know, say something's bad and give constructive criticism, they actually listen. What kind of parallel universe have I stepped into? Oh my god. But enough jokes aside, this is crazy that they're doing this. And some people are talking shit like, oh, they're just changing it to save their own asses. It's like, oh god, the fans hate the design. We gotta make it look good so they actually come see the movie. And other people are praising them, like, yay! Yay! They're doing this for us because we didn't like the design. They're nice, they're so nice. I'm not sure. Some, some people are like one way, some people are like the other. And there was a conspiracy theory that, that the Sonic movie was bad on purpose. And then, here recently, when this was announced, they added on to the conspiracy theory, saying that they made it look bad on purpose, just so they could redesign it. No. I don't believe in that. I, I'm a conspiracy theories kind of guy. But I don't think that's true. Oh shit, lightning thunder. Oh shit, that was a huge ball of lightning! Yet I didn't hear a sound. I better get home fast. But yeah. So yeah, they're, they're redesigning him, and they, we have a quick little teaser of him holding up like what looks to be a classic Sonic sign, you know, goalpost with the new date on it, 2-14-20. And we see his hand holding it, and he's wearing a glove. That's one good thing. He actually has gloves now. And he has still has his blue arm, but it for some reason looks more like the cartoony noodle arm from the game series. Which, I'm not sure if I like that in a live-action setting. Other people are going to be like, Yay! More game accurate, but... The... I don't think it works in real life, but I don't know. Whatever happens, happens. Some people are going to still complain that his arm is still blue. But you know what? They might change that later. That picture... We only do, we don't even see the full thing, so it might not even be the finalized new design. But we'll see. We'll see. Let me... Everyone was making videos about the new Sonic and how it looked bad and all that. And I, when the trailer came out, and everyone was doing it, literally everyone, even people who weren't Sonic fans and care two shits less about the Sonic franchise as a franchise, looked at it and said, okay, that looks bad. Everyone's making jokes about it, memes all over the place, everyone's joking about it. Literally everyone. Even, TV, even some people on TV are joking about that. And whenever a movie or something has something bad with it, it's usually joked about online. Or from friends in real life. Never on TV. That, unless the, that's the has been done before and I just don't know. But this is the first time I'm hearing of that. So literally everyone is joking about it. So either the reason why it's getting changed while many other bad things don't is because this thing got more hate than any other hated thing ever. Or maybe, I don't know, Paramount's actually getting smart and listening to it. I don't know. Who knows what it is, but they're changing it. Kat actually is one of the few people who like the design. She's not going to be too happy that they're changing it. Yes, I know. There's, a, there's only a few small amount of people who actually like the design, and she was one of them. Because it was realistic. She likes, she's a fan of realism. But everyone was talking about how bad it was and all this and that. And so there's so many videos of people fixing it. And I never did it because everyone was doing it. So what, what, was, what was even, there's no point. What was the need? Only now that they've done this, they're going to redesign it. I think now I'll make a video and I'll go over the design they had and talk about what is wrong with it. What, in my personal opinion, I think should be changed and what is wrong and what other people think is wrong and should be changed. 
and then we'll see what happens from there. So, we'll start with his general look and shape. As we see in the shadow teaser from nearly a year ago. More human-like proportions. I, it took a minute of adjusting, but I'm actually okay with that. Because it takes place in real life, and if you had newly cartoony arms in real life, there's no way you could walk or stand or even run for that matter. It wouldn't be able to support you. They have to make it make sense, you know? So, even though the proportions, a lot of people don't like it, it makes sense, so you can keep that. But if you decide to change it anyway, all right, it's fine. And now, oh, another fun thing to mention, even Sega themselves didn't like this design, especially the eyes. Now, we cut to when we can actually see the thing in those leaked images and in the trailer. Oh boy. Oh my God. So, Sonic in the games, his mouth is not in the center, which I never even realized that until someone pointed it out talking about the movie design. But his mouth is never in the center, it's always to the side with a little smirk or a grin or a smile or something. It's to the side of his, of his snout, not in the middle, which seems odd. But if you want to keep make a game accurate, which is what the fans want, I guess put it over there. But for realism, keep it in the middle. And his chest. His chest doesn't have fur on it. Either because he doesn't grow fur on his chest, or maybe he shaves, I don't know. But his chest never has fur on it. It's the same color as his snout. Which in this movie, his snout actually does have fur, but it's like weird skin tone fur. Or peach looking fur. It's weird. But his chest in this movie has fur, and it's not the same as his snout. No, instead it's white to match his hands. Which is wrong. Like, give the snout hair, all right? Make the chest the same color as the snout. Don't do that weird crap. And then the gloves, the hands. They gave him white hands to simulate like he had gloves. But why? Just give him gloves. What's wrong? What's so wrong with that? I'm glad they're actually listening to it. They're actually going to give him a glove. But I don't know what they were thinking in the first place. Like, what? What? If you didn't want to give him gloves, just have his hands be blue or have his hands have no fur on them. Like, sure, some people still get mad that there's no gloves, but at least don't pull this stupid shit. Why would, why would any species, Earth, another planet, anything out there, what purpose would its feet have to grow different colored fur than the rest of it? What purpose would that serve for survival in nature? It doesn't make sense. So I'm glad they're changing that. And I hope they change his chest too. Either change his snout and chest to have no fur, or change his chest fur to be the same color as his snout fur. His shoes. The reason why they changed his shoes is because they had a Nike plug in this movie. Either he was going to get his classic shoes towards the end, or maybe he's going to stick to these the whole movie. I don't know. And I don't know if they're going to change the shoes because they have that Nike deal. They might have them have the Nike shoes sometimes in the movie. Maybe have them switch. I don't know. But the classic shoes, people want those. Now, let's get into the, the three big things. The arms, the eyes, and the quills. A lot of people like the quills. Yet some people don't like it because it's not game accurate, but even a lot of those game accurate fanatics like the quill idea because he's a hedgehog. In the games, his quills always just look like hair. And in the 3D games, modern Sonic games, his fur bends like it's hair. Which doesn't make sense. If he's supposed to be a hedgehog, what the hell? So well, most people are on board for this quill thing idea. Some people like that. And I like it too. So keep that. Keep that. Now the second thing, the eyes. I get what they're going for. In real life, you don't have one big eye with two pupils or one eye hole with two eyeballs in the same socket. So they gave him two eyes. 
And I have a few different suggestions for this. I've seen one, I've seen one fan-made art. Most of these fan fixes give him the one eye again, but I've seen one fan thing that gave him just bigger eyes and there's still two and not one. And I think it looks good for that little thing anyway. If, here's the thing, since he's supposed to be an alien in this movie, that can be your excuse for having the one big eye. Sure, you'll have to try to figure, some people will have to try to figure out what purpose that would serve for his species. But you know what? That's not important. That's not going to be important to the main plot of the movie. You, know, you just say, yeah, he has one big eye because he's an alien. Screw it. Or, here's another reason people didn't like the eyes. Even Sega didn't like the eyes. They look too small. If you're going to go with two eyes instead of one, those two eyes look too small. There's so much extra space on his head. It looks odd. Maybe throw some eyebrows on there to fill up the room. You know, the extra room you have on there. Or make his eyes bigger so there's not just a bunch of empty space. That looks off. It looks weird. Like that one picture I just talked about. We've made his eyes bigger. So either give him one big eye like normal or do that. that those are my few suggestions for that. And finally, his arms. I can go either way with whether or not his arms are skin toned or blue. The blue arms thing has been done once and, well, it depends on people's opinion. If you like or hate Sonic Boom, I'm fine with blue arms. It's a, it's a unique little change that they did for that one thing. And it didn't get in the way of anything. It didn't harm nothing. But the fact that people still complained gave Sonic Boom a, a joke to make. Yeah, Sonic Boom is kind of a meta show, and some people like it, a lot of people like it, some people don't like it. It's a good, it's a, I've only seen a few episodes, it's a decent show. The games, however, oh my god. <sighs> we're not going to talk about that. That's, we're not going to talk about that, we're talking about the designs here. So you can give him skin toned arms with no fur, or make his arm fur the same color as his snout and chest, or keep him blue, I don't care. Either way works for me. I don't mind. What you do with his arms. I'm perfectly okay. Alright, so those were the three big ones. Now for the final one. Ooh, more lightning in the distance. His teeth. MatPat pointed this out. The uncanny... And a few other people, but MatPat's the one I can think of the most. Those uncanny... The uncanny valley. Very human-like creepy ass teeth. I don't know how you can make this work. Because if he's supposed to be a humanoid figure, of course he would have human teeth, but people will find that creepy. Either give him no teeth, make his teeth look different, instead of making him exactly like human teeth, maybe come up with a unique tooth design for him. Like, it's, a, it's a whole different species, you can come up with anything. I don't know. Do something. You can't just have his teeth all be like one thing on top, one thing on the bottom. Like how some cartoons do when you don't draw the lines in to separate the teeth. Laziness, you know. That wouldn't look right in live action, so you can't just lazy out on that. So either, you know what, keep the teeth and just deal with the backlash and deal with the people complaining. Or try to figure out something. I got nothing for the teeth. I don't know what to do. I don't know if toothless him would look right, but I, that's pretty much the only option I could see that would work. And there we go. That's the movie design for you. That's everything I had wrong with it, and that's any everything I know of to fix it. Oh yeah. I'm gonna go to 15 minutes and hopefully nothing happens. Like she doesn't call in the middle of this. It's almost over, 20 seconds. Oh crap, that was a big lightning flash. I'm gonna hurry up and get home. Oh yeah. Oh, it's gonna rain again. Oh well. All right, see you guys next time. Peace.